Hello everybody, Kader AK is here and today we will be creating a portable air raid alert device that can be connected to a siren speaker. Air raid alerts are saving lives in Ukraine as we are daily being attacked by Russian missiles and drones. We have standalone sirens, websites and mobile applications that will notify about raid alerts going on and off and today we will be making a portable device that can be used personally or as an endpoint to connect to an external siren speaker in public places. Let's list the main features of the device here. Establish connection with a Wi-Fi network for API requests. Utilize NTP for time synchronization to stay up to date. Indicate A-RAID alert status through RGB LED. Emit a melody using a buzzer. Ability to mute the buzzer with a switch. Define operational hours for the device. Here's the list of parts that we will need to build the device. ESP32 Room Dev Kit Module RGB LED Indicator Buzzer Two-way or three-way switch 220 ohm resistors jumper wires USB cable for connection and powering the MCU and of course a 3D printed case First we will model a case for the device I decided to go with an old anti-thief alarm look I plan to make the device fully autonomous with two rechargeable 18650 batteries and a GSM modem to work outdoors or during a possible power outage. So the case will have a compartment for these batteries, but I will leave these features for version 2 of the device. The ESP32 is the heart of the device. This might be an overkill, but it is pretty cheap and makes a lot of things easier. The MCU is powered with 5 volts DC power adapter or a USB cable. Place 220 ohm resistors between color pins of the RGB LED. Pin D13 will be used for the red LED pin and D12 will be used for the green pin. Negative common connects to the ground on the MCU. In order to add a mute feature, we will be adding a switch between the buzzer and the MCU. For using an external siren speaker, a relay is needed. If it is the 5V relay, an external 5V DC source should be used as this MCU can provide only 3.3 volts. The signal pin should go directly to the MCU. When a high signal will be sent to the relay, it will connect the siren speaker with an AC source. Now we are ready to start coding. We will create four classes that will help us to drive the application. The music, a class that will help us to emit a sound using the buzzer. The alert API is a class that will perform HTTP GET request to a server that will provide us with information about the current status in a given region. We will use the API key for authenticating and authorizing our request. The API response will be in JSON format, so we will need to deserialize it. You can apply for API key at api.ukrainealarm.com. The NTP class will make sure that we know the exact time and operational hours. The MCU has an onboard RTC, but it might drift over time. Also, our app only uses a small portion of the onboard flash memory and leaves us a lot of unused CPU and RAM. The main logic class is in charge of controlling the application flow and tying all other classes together. It will perform NTP update, issue API requests, play music and blink with the RGB LED when needed. 
If the device will be used with external siren speakers, we will need to use an additional digital pin to control the relay. Please let me know if you are interested in this and I will share my code for that scenario as well. Okay, it is show time. Let's simulate an air raid alert. Looks like it is working as expected. Now we are ready to assemble the case, finish soldering and put everything inside. The case was designed to use screws, but for now I've decided to glue it as we are not using batteries and a GSM module in this revision. Let's see what the finished project looks like. You can hear real sirens going on and our device in action. I'm pulling the API alert server twice per minute. When using this device in real world with external siren speakers, we should pull it every second or even faster. I hope you'll find this video interesting and useful. Please don't forget to subscribe, to stay connected, share your ideas and leave comments. As always, I put a link to the project on GitHub in the description to the video. My next project is on the way. Bye bye!